Hi, my name is Will Davis with World Composting. It has been seven days since I've done an update on my hamster bedding bin. So this is the bin that I have that has hamster bedding in it. The last time I did an update seven days ago, it was a fruit fly invasion. And I dumped a whole bunch of uh, water in it that had some mosquito bits soaked in it. So that way we could try to get rid of those fruit flies or fungus gnats and try to really reduce those populations. It was a major issue. They were all over my basement. Hopefully they didn't spread, but it didn't look like they were. It looked like they were located primarily within the system. Now, with that, I just want to say there was no food such as veggies or fruit in the system. It was only hamster bedding. That's it. It was ha used hamster bedding. So there was, you know, obviously uh, hamster poop and hamster pee in there, but uh, that's it. And there may be a little bit of his food left over or something like that, but there wasn't anything else. It wasn't like I had tons of apples or uh, pears or a watermelon in here or anything like that. It was just bedding material, really. So with that, we're going to take a look and see if that issue has been solved by adding this uh, bio uh, with BTI, which is a actual bio uh, biological agent that goes in and like eats fruit fly larva or fungus gnat larva. And we'll see if that actually worked in this system. And I also did have a light over it. I have got one of my lights that has a blue light that kind of draws the fruit flies and fungus nets in and just electrocutes them on the, uh, the electrodes there. And I do find those to work pretty well for controlling populations that are already there. And the BTI solution is more of a long-term solution. So what that's supposed to do is it's supposed to have uh, these nematode type uh, or biological agents that kind of attack those larvae. So it's short-term with the light, long term with the, the BTI. So we'll see how it's looking and see uh, if we need to change anything else and see how the moisture content is. I still don't have any plastic on top of this. It's just a cardboard bag. So let's go take a look at the bin and see how it's doing. All right, here's our system. Here's our last update on 824 that I wrote down. I am seeing some, uh, if you can see them here crawling on the surface here, I do see some mites in here and I see quite a few on the bag. Let's just zoom in here and see if we can get, to get a look at those. Uh, See if there's any over here that are, see if it'll focus. All right, it's not gonna focus there. We'll just bring it back out. So there we go, I think that's focused now. There we go. But there are some mites that were crawling along the bag here. We're gonna take pick this up and take this out. Um, a little bit of moisture on the bottom of the bag, it's soaked a little bit there, more mites on it. Um, not too worried about the mites right now. It's There's a population that's not a big deal to me of mites. The fruit flies were definitely an issue though. And with that, we can already see a couple worms climbing along the top. I do see a couple fruit flies in there or fungus gnats. I think these might be fungus gnats because they look a lot smaller. Uh, I'm wondering also partially if the mites are in here because of the fungus gnats, uh, you know, they, they might eat those type of things. So let's first off take a look in here and we can already see them. You can see I've got the African night crawlers going in here. Nice big worms. They seem to really like this moisture. Let's just dig in here a little bit. Move that back. The moisture has definitely started to soak up into here. And these guys seem to really like it. Um, they're moving around. Look, I mean, they're nice and big. They look pretty healthy. You know, so that's a good sign. We're just going to turn this over a little bit here. They're right towards the edges of it. It looks like there's a, there's a huge section of them right here. So they're just trying to work around these edges, it looks like. And they are turning, definitely turning this into castings. This was not this many castings in there to start. And it looks like there's a lot more. It was just a handful. Sorry, I'm sliding this around like crazy here on you. We can see that nice long worm in there. I'm trying not to put my hands all over the edge of the bin when I hold it because of the, uh, the mites. And here we go, down in this corner here, I'm not sure if you can see, there's also a huge section of castings down here and there's more of the African night crawlers. They are actually liking this bin, it looks like. Look at this, another big handful right here. Whoop. You can see them right there. I mean, there's a whole bunch of them in that little that pile right there. Nice big healthy African night crawlers. They like the moisture of this system. I probably could even add more water. It looks like this is starting to dry out, but you can just see as we flip this over here, getting mites crawling on my hands while I'm holding it, that this system looks nice and healthy. There's a wood stick actually from the hamster bin. I think that was one of his chew toys I accidentally put in, the, got rid of. We can see them. I mean, these guys look pretty healthy in here. So I think these are pretty good, the, the system. Now they're a little bit, uh, not quite as lively as, uh, as, as they have been, but lots of moisture in here, which is great. You know, but not too much. It's not like before, I don't know if you remember, if you watched last time's video, there was water sitting in the bottom of the system. That's how much water we had added to this. So it's definitely dried out since then. 
but it still looks like it's pretty good in here as far as moisture content. Again, on this side right here, worms again, and look at that, you can see the castings, the, the, the castings that are coming off here. And there's also a lot of, uh, you can see the little, if, if you can, I think, um, you can see the white flakes on there. That's actually the powder from uh, the crushed eggshell that I've added. Again, and there, there's a lot of, oh, let me just scrape some of these off. So you can see that they're really starting to build up some of these castings on the side here as they go around. They're probably trying to work around that outside area or find places where there's cardboard that's already breaking down. The wood chips will probably take a lot longer, these aspen shavings. I'm not seeing uh, the fungus gnats now in here or the fruit flies that were in here before, which is a good sign. You can see I mean, these guys look pretty healthy. A little small, this one's a little smaller than the others, but um, they look pretty healthy in here. Not quite as active as they were in the cardboard bin, but I wonder if they're, uh, you know, they're they're moving around. It's hard to see cocoons in here, I have to admit. Um, you know, I'm not very good at finding them to begin with, typically, unless they're, like, very, very obvious. But overall, this looks pretty good. They are moving around a little bit. This one looks, they look a little lethargic, but I think we're going to add a little bit more water to this. We did just mix it up. And we are going to add the... Uh, the other water. We're going to just add the spray bottle water that I've got here. And we're just going to add a little bit more moisture to this just to make sure this stays nice and moist because this will dry out pretty quick, I have a feeling. So, and you can see a move with the water here. I don't think the water should be that cold, but maybe it's a little chilly to them. It was sitting on the floor, although my basement's pretty warm right now at about 73 degrees. So, again, there's a slight odor to this bin. It's not, it's not bad. It's not the earthy odor I'm used to in a lot of my bins. It, it smells like, um, it, it probably is because of the hamster uh, poop and things like that. It's, I'm getting a little bit of whiff of something that's maybe growing on that or something like that. Hopefully it's not hurting me in any way, but overall, I think this is gonna work, but we'll just have to give it more time. It hasn't been that long. It's been obviously less than a month. And let's update our label here on the bottom. We'll take off this 824, which is our last update, whoops. Now let's put on a new label here for today, which is 831. As I said, you know, we're getting, we're gonna do updates on this, but there's no food going in. I do have more bedding to add already, but I'm gonna wait on that because I wanna let it sit for a little bit before we add it. So I'm just gonna put that right there, 831. And there we go, there's our update. We're gonna put our paper bag back on top. It looks like our fruit fly issue is primarily solved. So I'm not too worried about that right now, which is a good sign. And we'll go from there and see how, see how this, uh, this system turns out. Right now, the only thing we have, we do have some mites in here. I'm not sure what that is right there either. Maybe that is a fungus gnat right there on, the, on this bag. Right there. Those, those look like fungus gnats. They're small and black. So I don't think those are fruit flies. I think those are fungus gnats that are coming out. But uh, there's only a couple really that I saw. I didn't see too many take off either. So that's a good sign. So that's it for my update for this, uh, this week. We'll come back to this. We're going to just see how they keep doing. I do have this system, by the way, sitting next to my old African Nightcrawler system right next to the edge over here, so they can go back and forth if they need to. I figure it'd be safe to give them a, a way out or more worms a way in if they really like this system. So thank you for watching. And again, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below.